Hello, my name is Rosie Gola and I am the development producer and co-writer of the documentary Violet Gibson, The Peaceful Assassin. This is a true story about an Irish woman who on April 7, 1926, attempted to assassinate Benito Mussolini, the leader of the Italian Fascist Party. This is a compelling and interesting story that I'm very excited to be working on. Violet Gibson was born into privilege. She rubbed shoulders with the who's who of high society due to her father's position as the Lord Chancellor of Ireland. Spending holidays in France and England, Violet was exposed to life's luxuries, but she wanted more out of life. For a woman growing up in the early 20th century, Violet had a life of marriage and motherhood to look forward to, but she was a woman who refused to let others dictate her path of life. I am passionate about this story because Violet Gibson was ahead of her time. She was a forerunner, and she was on the ground floor of many movements that are still in existence today, such as the Fawcett Society, which promotes gender equality and human rights. I am also excited to be working with Cahill Black, who will be directing this documentary. Cahill Black is an award-winning director who has worked on various acclaimed documentaries and feature films such as Learning Gravity and Korea. He takes unique subject matter and is able to tell a compelling story with an intimate eye and a focus on character-driven stories. Earlier this year, there was a retrospective of his work at the Irish Film Institute in Dublin, Ireland. This film will also be co-produced by Luciano D'Onofrio from the Italian production company, Symphony. Symphony will also provide 20% of the film's uh, funding. This is a special story because it follows Violet to various locations in Europe, such as Ireland, England, France, and Italy. Violet's story intrigues me due to its multifaceted qualities, including her efforts to help those less fortunate than herself, despite her own struggles with poor health and chronic pain throughout her life. Also, the juxtaposition of her efforts to help those in need and her attempt to take a man's life is interesting. There are many questions that this story poses. Was Violet suffering from mental illness? If she was a man, would her court trial and subsequent incarceration have been handled differently? Was she working alone? And why do so few people know about her story? The country of Italy was very dear to Violet, and when she saw the wrongdoings that Mussolini and the fascist party were committing in the country, she felt that it was her duty to take action. As a result of her action, Violet was incarcerated in a mental institute for 30 years until her death, and throughout that time she stood by her convictions. Violet Gibson was a fascinating person, and her story is special because so few people know about it. Mussolini was such an animated character, and I feel that the story of a woman who almost killed him will intrigue and provoke many people. Thank you.